In this video, we're going to go over the display options and the colors tab in the settings window, which you access from the little gears icon in the lower right. You can get further help on our thorough Nexus and GMCP documentation wiki by clicking on any of the little question marks in settings. They link to the relevant wiki section. Many of these changes will be reflected in the preview window to the right in real time. Font and size are easy to understand. The client defaults to a variable width font, but if you want an old school monospace font, there's one available. Many people like to alter the default text size, usually to fit more text on screen at once. This box here will let you see your commands in line in the output window, like this. This one will echo target changes to the output window. This will let you strip away many of the blank lines between things if that's what you want. Checking this box will do what it says. If communication shows up in the default comm window or any specific comm channel, it won't show up in the main output window if you have this selected. If you really want to blow out your eyes, check this box. I can't stand it, but a couple of users prefer the reversed color scheme for whatever reason. You can turn prompt lines on or off entirely here, and you can also choose whether to have the prompt lines after every command or only shown for the last line received. Here you can select when the movement compass will show up. It looks like this. You can toggle it on and off by clicking this compass icon. Personally, I only find it useful on mobile, but your mileage may vary. You can stop clearing commands from the input bar after sending here, and you can decide that help files should show up inline in the main window rather than in pop-ups here. If you want to see item numbers on room or inventory lists, it's here to select or deselect. If you want fatter health, etc. gauges, unchecking this will give you those. I don't really recommend it though. Don't like tooltips? Deselect this. Want to get desktop notifications when your browser isn't in focus and you get communication? This box will do it. And here at the bottom, you've got controls for how to show timestamps. Moving to the Colors tab, you'll be able to adjust the individual in-game colors. You can and should change the color of various game elements to your liking using Config Color in-game, but here you can fine-tune the display of those colors to make, for instance, the dark blue color lighter or darker. Your client settings will autosave every two minutes, but you might want to manually save client settings after you make those changes, just so you don't lose them. Next time you fire up Nexus, regardless of whether it's on the same device or another, your client will look like it did before. Well, that's it for now. See you in game.